so now you go play around. <laughs> Where? Oh, what are you gonna do? Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. Wait. What are you gonna do now? Oh, what is that? <coughs> ah! <laughs> I got all those flowers. Okay. Wait. It's time already. Wait. There's music also that comes with. Uh oh. Well, that's cool. Look at that. Hey. Are you even you? Okay. Let's get started. Go for love now. No more, no more shall be good. Okay, let's go. Okay, hello everybody. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Ah. Okay, where is that's the baby? Good morning. So today we're going to read and comment about uh, about huh? It better be the right gospel. Yeah, today is Wednesday, right? March 13, and we are going to comment on St. Luke chapter 11, verses 29 to 32. Joseph. And this is the uh, Joseph, where are you? And this is the gospel where Jesus talks about the sign of Jonah. So, do you remember the prophet Jonah? What happened to him? Got swallowed by the whale, right? Okay, yeah. And what happened there? What's the story there? Why did he get swallowed by the whale? <coughs> you remember? Why did he get swallowed by the whale? <coughs> he didn't want to obey God, right? God was telling him, go to Nineveh. And, uh, you know, go to Nineveh because uh, I want you to uh, give them the message of... Uh, uh, you know, repentance and all that. They have to repent from their sins. But he didn't want, right? Anyway, in the end, he obliged, but grudgingly, you know, dragging his feet. And then when he got into the boat that was uh, going to transport him to Nineveh, uh, all of a sudden there was some storm and turbulence. And, and they realized that, oh, you know, why is this happening? They realized it was because somebody in that boat was causing trouble was not quite doing the will of God see and uh, Jonah had to volunteer that yeah he he's the one who was not doing the will of God he's the one who was dragging his feet and was grudgingly on that boat uh, uh, you know to fulfill the mission that God had wanted him to fulfill so in order to save themselves they had to throw Jonah John, Jonah out of the, into the sea but then God saved him okay uh, by allowing him to be swallowed by a whale and stay in the belly of the whale for three days. Okay, anyway, he learned his lesson after that. So when, uh, he, he reached Nineveh and he proclaimed to them, okay, hey, you guys better repent, okay? The wrath of God is, is coming if you don't. And so all of them, beginning from the king, sat in ash and uh, in sackcloth, right? And began a fast and began a, uh, a, a, a time of repentance for the sins. And so the Jews were asking Jesus. They did not believe Jesus was the Messiah, right? Remember, there was big skepticism going on whether Jesus was really the Messiah. And so they were asking, well, give us a sign that you are the real thing. Give us a sign that you are really the Messiah. And Jesus tells them, uh -uh, you're not going to get any sign but the sign of Jonah. Just remember what Jonah uh, uh, signified for uh, the people of Nineveh and uh, that's the sign you're gonna get okay because uh, you know you don't want to believe me uh, uh, you know people have come from different places to uh, uh, like like the Queen of the South you know went to uh, see Solomon in order to uh, to learn from the wisdom of Solomon but there's someone greater than Solomon here right so what is our Lord trying to tell us? Uh, uh, the Queen of Sheba, uh, Nineveh, and all that. These are already all the signs that have, uh, that, uh, have come before the real thing, before Jesus, right? Jesus has already, God has already uh, sent prophets and sent uh, judges and sent plenty of, uh, of um, uh, people ahead of him in order to prepare the ground works for his coming and yet they still did not believe and yet they're still asking Jesus for a sign whether he is the real thing right now uh, so what lessons can we learn from this 
What lessons can we learn from this? The Jews were looking for God. They were waiting for the Messiah. They were waiting for their salvation. Yet they did not recognize it when it was already actually there in their midst. Okay? They were blinded. They were blinded by, well, many things. Many things. Uh, selfishness, corruption, greed, pride, all the sins that you can imagine. Right? And that is why, that is why when St. John the Baptist came, Okay, the last of the prophets, what did, he, what did he do? Well, he encouraged people to repent. Repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. Now repent. Okay, So repentance is part of clearing out all the baggage, all the, uh, all the blinds that cover our eyes, uh, that do not allow us to see God. See, So all of our vices, all of our sins, are there blinding our eyes. That's why we cannot see God in the things of ordinary life. That's why we cannot see God in the things that happen in our daily lives. The circumstances of our lives always show us the will of God. That is why we are blinded when, when we, our parents tell us something. See, we don't want to obey. We rebel. See, why is that? Because of all the baggage of sin. <coughs> That has encumbered our souls. That has blinded our, our soul's eyes to see God in the things that our parents tell us about. And that is a very sad thing. Okay? And that is what sparks rebellion. That is what sparks disobedience. That is what triggers uh, uh, discouragement uh, uh, you know, and, and all the other reactions that are not right. See? So we have to repent, get rid of those sins. Okay? That is why this time of Lent is a very appropriate time to really examine ourselves and really understand what our shortcomings are, what our sins are, what are the things that we offend God with, what are the habitual sins <coughs> we commit. Okay? And we really try to repent. We really try to get rid of them so that when our vision is clear, when we don't carry the baggages of sin, then we have clarity of mind. We'll have clarity of vision to see God. To see God because God is in everything that we do. God is in everything that happens in our lives. God is in our books. God is in our chores. God is in our family life. God is in the sacraments. God is in us in grace. When we are in the state of grace. And when we receive our Lord in Holy Communion. When we attend Mass. When we pray. Actual graces are being given to us. Okay? So we have to see God in everything. Okay, In the things that happen in our lives. And because those are the signs. Those are really the signs. We don't need to look for extraordinary things. Okay? We can find God. Even in the pots and pans, as St. Therese said. Okay? Uh, St. Therese was, uh, would, teach, would teach her nuns. And even, even uh, uh, the other Teresa the, uh, of Calcutta right, would say that to her nuns. Okay? You can find God in the pots and pans, meaning in your chores. See? If you put God there, you'll find God there. Okay? If you, if you see that God is communicating to you through the things that you do in everyday life, then you are going to find God. See, This is what you call presence of God, living in the presence of God. Okay? Always, always being mindful that God is everywhere. Right? What's the catechism question? Where is God? What's the answer? God is? Well, that's, not, that's the shortcut version. What's the... Appropriate answer to that question. Where is God? Ay, ay, ay. God is in heaven, on earth, and everywhere, and in our souls in grace. Oh, it looks like you all failed. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm I am pretty sure it is there. I memorize it. I memorize it. It's been stuck in here since I was seven years old. Okay, you guys got to review your catechism. Okay? 
You have to review your catechism. That's the reason why we memorize the catechism. Memorize because you have to grow up knowing these very simple answers to the most basic questions. Otherwise, you know nothing. Okay? You know, and there's a very there's a significance to why the catechism answer to that question is such. It is not just uh oh oh low battery. Okay. Well, okay, it says low battery, so we better go. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you next time. Okay? Bye. Uh-oh, no more. <laughs>